Praise Jesus, everyone. I hope we are all fine. Yeah, this is Pastor Sandra Baingana with a devotion for today that ushers us into day eight of the 30 days of the Easter fast. I hope you are joining this fast and we believe and hold hands in agreement with you that your life is not remaining the same as we walk this journey in the name of Jesus. Yeah, today I feel led to pray for you in a special way. And before I can start praying for you, I want you to know that whatever you are going through, whatever situation you are facing, God has destined such a season for you to take you out of situations that have been hindering you for so long. I want you to believe, I want us to hold hands in agreement. Do not give up, something good is coming along the way in the name of Jesus. Before I can pray for you, yeah, um, I wanted to share a, a scripture that, that, that is in line with what my prayer will be today. My prayer for you today is that every situation that has been standing against you is going to turn back at the presence of God tonight. The presence of God is present in this session as I'm praying his presence will be evident. And as his presence is being evident throughout the session, there are situations that are going to be turning back. They are going to bow down to his presence. They are going to turn back and disappear out of your life in the name of Jesus. So when I'm praying, I just want you to, to just surrender to God. Don't, don't, don't pray. Just If you can, just raise up your hands and pray. If you can just just kneel down and raise up your hands, whatever you're comfortable with, just surrender. I think I've talked about surrendering during prayer. There are times when you don't need to speak. There are times when you just need to, to tell him, I'm here in your presence. Do what you will in my life. The Bible says we ought not to know how to intercede for ourselves, but the spirit of the Lord intercedes for us according to the will and purpose of God with groanings that can't be uttered. So tonight I want you to believe that as I'm praying for you, as you're quiet, surrendered, I want you to believe that there is something the Holy Spirit is doing in your life. There are things that are matching out of your life. There is going to be a massive deliverance in the overflow as I'm, as I'm praying for you this moment. And the people who are used to this, that Pastor Sandra, first touch me and I will be well. The spirit of the Lord is unlimited. That even when we are distances apart, wherever you are, as I am praying, he's reaching out to you to deliver you, to, to, to change your life, to change your story, to bring that answered prayer in the name of Jesus. So let's believe, let's surrender, and let's let him intercede for us. Please, I repeat, when I'm praying, just kneel down or sit in a comfortable position and just raise up your hands in surrender. If you can't raise up your hands, just kneel or sit and just surrender to him. Praise Jesus. Yeah, I'm sharing from Psalms chapter 114. It, it has only eight verses. That's from verse one to verse eight. It says, when Israel came out of Egypt, Jacob from a people of foreign tongue, Judah became God's sanctuary. Israel became his dominion. What does that mean? It was trying to, it's explaining to us as that time when the children of Israel came out of Egypt, when they came out from the foreign tongue, meaning from a place with a foreign tongue, Judah became God's sanctuary. They became a sanctuary of God. Judah is one of the sons of Jacob. So the children of Israel became God's sanctuary. Israel became his dominion. He began dominating over Egypt, meaning 
Israel overcame Egypt and dominated Egypt. It means that God began dwelling in them. Praise Jesus for saying Judah became God's sanctuary. The sea looked and fled. Now, when that happened, the Bible says, the sea looked and fled. Remember the sea that was a threat to them. They didn't know how to cross. It was a threat to their escape out of slavery. The sea looked and fled. The Jordan turned back, meaning because these children had the presence of God in them, the big sea, the red sea looked at, the, at them and fled away, meaning it opened way for them to pass. The Jordan turned back. Like everything that was standing in front of them paved way. It turned back for them to pass. It, it surrendered to them because they had the presence of God with them. You know, verse for the mountains leaped like rams and the hills like lambs, you know. So even the mountains responded to the presence of God. Even the hills responded to the presence of the Lord. Verse 5, why is it see that you fled? Why, Jordan, did you turn back? Now, the, the psalmist is asking the, the sea and the Jordan, why did you flee from us? Why did you turn back? Why mountains did you leap like rams, you hills like lambs? He's trying to ask them, you great seas and you great mountains and you great hills, how come you fled? It's like he's trying to mock them, how come you fled? You know, Egypt thought it was great to hold the children of Israel captive. The Red Sea thought it was so big to block them from passing. But the presence of God, not even the biggest of things could stand in their way. Verse 7, tremble earth at the presence of the Lord, at the presence of the God of Jacob, who turned the rock into a pool, a hard rock in springs of, of water. Like... We, we, today's situations are going to tremble at God's presence. And as they tremble, they are going to turn back and flee from you. They are going to turn back. The mountains in your life are going to crumble at the presence of God tonight in the name of Jesus. The whole earth is going to tremble tonight as I am praying in the name of Jesus. God was able, he had power to turn a rock into a pool. So every rock in your life is going to melt into a pool of living water. Praise Jesus. The hard rock into springs of water. There is nothing like this. You, you can't say this is hard for me. It's hard for me to break through. It's hard for me. No, no. That thing which is like a rock in your life today, it's melting into water. It will be water. It will not hold anymore. Praise Jesus. Sickness is turning back. Failure is that turning back. Rejection is turning back. Bondage, any form of bondage is turning back. Tonight, God is doing something in the lives of people. And I'm excited for you. And I'm believing with you in the name of Jesus. That God is not leaving you the same that your life is being transformed tonight, that this prayer will not leave you the same in the name of Jesus. Dear mighty God, we come before you in the name of Jesus. We thank you for your love and your faithfulness towards us. We thank you for we are the Israel of today upon whom the seas looked and will look and flee back, upon whom the Jordan will turn back, upon whom the mountains will leap like rams, and upon whom the hills like lamps. I thank you today because there are rocks in the lives of people that are turning into springs, springs of living water, pools of living water, in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, I invite you into this session. I acknowledge you as the one that is unlimited, that is able to pass through my voice and touch hearts 
and touch lives and change lives and alter destinies and change names in the name of Jesus. Come and prevail. Come and have your rightful place, Holy Spirit. Come and dwell in our midst, Holy Spirit. Come and change someone's situation tonight, Holy Spirit. The Bible says where the Spirit of God is, there is freedom. Come and bring freedom tonight to the lives of people, Holy Spirit. The Bible says when the enemy rises up in form of a storm against us, that the Spirit of the Lord raises a standard. Come and raise a standard in every situation, Holy Spirit. The Bible calls you unlimited. Come and do what is unlimited in our lives in the name of Jesus. We welcome you, Holy Spirit. We dedicate this session to you, Holy Spirit. You are unlimited. Pass through the waves. Pass through my voice. Pass through this phone. And reach out to your sons and daughters, wherever they are. Whatever they are going through, let your mighty touch reach out to them. Go right through this phone, through the waves, and reach them and locate them in the name of Jesus. I acknowledge you, Holy Spirit, for it's not by power or by might, but by the Spirit of the Lord. It's written that when two or three are gathered, your are is in their midst. I thank you for your in our midst, Holy Spirit. I thank you for freedom is coming to your people tonight in the name of Jesus. I thank you for their destinies changing tonight in the name of Jesus. I thank you for their lives you're making happy tonight in the name of Jesus. I thank you for their mountains that are crumbling tonight in the name of Jesus. I thank you for their seas that are fleeing in the name of Jesus. I thank you for the Jordan is turning back tonight in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Move and touch these people. Move and touch a man out there. Move and touch a woman out there in the name of Jesus as they surrender to you, Holy Spirit. Meet them at their point of need. Just surrender to him wherever you are. Just surrender to him wherever you are. Just surrender to him wherever you are. He is moving in our midst. I don't know what situation you're struggling with. I don't know what condition you're in. I don't know what circumstance you're facing. I don't know what hindrance you are facing. But all I guarantee you tonight is that as you're surrendering right now, just surrender to him. He's interceding for you. His presence is locating you. Just surrender to him in the name of Jesus.
there is a situation that is looking back and fleeing out of your life sickness is fleeing out of your life sickness is fleeing out of your life sickness is leaving your body in the name of Jesus completely by the stripes of Jesus by the stripes of the blood that Jesus shed on the cross that sickness has looked back and fled that disease has looked back and fled in the name of Jesus sleepless nights enough of the sorrowful nights this is the day this is the season this is the time that the Lord has set for you to move into glory into joy the presence of God is light and it's casting out every darkness out of your life in the name of Jesus spirits. There are people that have been experiencing luck in your life. No more luck in your life in the name of Jesus. God is opening the portals of heaven, raining down supply in ways you've never thought. He's doing exceedingly abundantly above your expectations in the name of Jesus. He is doing exceedingly abundantly above your expectations in the name of Jesus. There is someone you didn't even have what to eat. God is surprising you before the end of this night in the name of Jesus. There is someone who didn't even have fees for her children, for his children. God is opening an outlet in the name of Jesus. There are windows in the heavens that are open right now to rain down provision in every way that you need it. My God is supplying all your needs according to his riches and glory in the name of Jesus. There will be no more lack in your, in your home. There will, be, there will be no more lack in your life. You're going to be surprised at what God is doing. There is a door opening for you that you never thought would open up for you. And that door is supplying all your needs according to his riches in glory. There are doors to job opportunities that are opening up for people. There are doors to job opportunities that are opening up for people. 
there is someone that applied for a job and you're getting a call tomorrow a call of approval in the name of jesus there is someone who applied for a job weeks ago you're receiving a call of approval before this week ends in the name of jesus it's only one day to the end of this week the office hours but our god is unlimited He's not even limited by days, even when it's a weekend. You will receive that call. You will receive that email. You receive that notification that you've been approved for that job in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for the people that you're opening up to jobs. Thank you for those great open doors in the name of Jesus. There is a business rising up in this season. Whatever has been attacking your business today, it turns back to flee from you from your business, from the works of your hands in the name of Jesus. That situation is being terrified by the presence of God right now. And your business will never be the same again after today in the name of Jesus. Doors to clients are opening. Doors to contracts are opening. Doors to supplying in great numbers are opening. Your business is being quickened into greatness in the name of Jesus. You're called to be the head and not the tail. So you will not be the tail in your business, but the head. Amongst people that are doing the business that you're doing in that society, in that environment, your business is going to be different. God is putting a mark on your business in the name of Jesus. The anointing of increase of growth of multiplication is raining unto your business tonight in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I pray for the singles, oh God. Locate them wherever they are. Touch them and deliver them from singlehood right now in the name of Jesus. God is quickening you into your marriage in the name of Jesus. God is quickening you into finding a spouse in the name of Jesus. Loneliness stops this year in the name of Jesus. This year you're becoming Mrs. So-and-so. This year you're becoming Mr. Someone. There is a man that is giving a name to a woman. There is a woman receiving a name from a man. We are going to see weddings springing up on in this ministry like rain. Heavens rain down weddings in this ministry in the name of Jesus. Heavens rain down weddings in this ministry in the name of Jesus. Heavens rain down engagements in this ministry in the name of Jesus. Withhold the time wasters and bring the right ones in the name of Jesus. You've been heartbroken so many times and you almost gave up. Rise up and believe again in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit is locating every single person and is delivering you from anything that could be holding you from getting married. In case you're not yet married because of a limitation, because of a hindrance, because of a bondage, because of particular chains, as you surrender, just raise up your hands in surrender. And as you surrender to the Most High God, there are chains releasing you. 
as you walk into your marriage. Generational curses are turning back. Witchcraft is turning back. Bondage is turning back. Rejection is turning back in the name of Jesus. Spirit husbands, spirit wives are turning back in the name of Jesus. Bad luck is turning back in the name of Jesus. That evil veil that has been covering your beauty is turning back in the name of Jesus. Touch them, Holy Spirit. Meet them, Holy Spirit. Deliver them, Holy Spirit, in the name of Jesus. The spirit husbands are turning back and departing from you. The spirit wives are turning back and departing from you in the name of Jesus. They don't have a hold on you again in the name of Jesus. you Jesus there is someone as you're sleeping every night there is something that comes and suppresses you in the night when you're sleeping an evil spirit comes and suppresses you and you feel you can't breathe it comes at a particular time of the night it's turning back to live right now in the name of Jesus. It's turning back to live right now in the name of Jesus. The people that have been inflicted by the demonic attacks, you are attacked in a way by demons in your sleep. When you are awake, feel things moving on your body, in your hair, in your, in your womb. Those things that have been tormenting your life are turning back to leave you in the name of Jesus. I command you to get out of your body in the name of Jesus. I command them to get out of your body in the name of Jesus. I command them to turn back and leave in the name of Jesus. For the name Jesus is above any power, it's above anything. So receive your freedom in the name of Jesus. Receive your freedom in the name of Jesus. Witchcraft is losing hold of you in the name of Jesus. Whoever is out there and you've been held by witchcraft, we are above every name, every authority, every ruler, every dominion. So witchcraft has no dominion over you. That witchcraft is expiring right now in the name of Jesus. It's turning back to move out of your life in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. every mountain in your way. There are mountains turning back to live. Every mountain that has been blocking your way to breakthroughs. Every mountain that has been breaking your way from passing through. Those mountains are turning back to live in the name of Jesus. No more hindrance in the way of your destiny. No more hindrance in your way of of the year 2022 in the name of Jesus. God is turning things around for many. God is turning things around. There is a prayer request you've been having for so long. is changing your destiny. He is taking that prayer request list in the name of Jesus. Your 
are being quickened out of waiting in the name of Jesus. There are people who are being quickened out of waiting. You've been waiting for something for so long. You've been waiting expectantly for so long. You're being quickened out of waiting. There are people who are leaving the waiting room. There are people who are leaving the waiting room. Whatever you've been waiting for, it's coming through in the name of Jesus. Wait and see its manifestation in your life in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Just surrender to him. to him there is something he's doing in your life today in the name of Jesus thank you Jesus there is someone whose marriage has been having a storm this storm has come and it has made your marriage hit the rocks. In the name of Jesus, those rocks are turning into rivers of living water. Those rivers, are, those rocks are turning into rivers of living water. The wall between you and your husband, the wall between you and your wife, is collapsing right now in the name of Jesus. So whatever has been holding you to from enjoying your marriage, it's breaking right now. Witchcraft is expiring out of your marriage. Generational curses are turning back to live in the name of Jesus. The spirit of lust is turning out to live in the name of Jesus. The spirit of polygamy is turning to leave your marriage in the name of Jesus. The spirit of divorce is leaving your marriage in the name of Jesus. The spirit of failed marriages is leaving your marriage in the name of Jesus. The Egyptians you've been seeing in your marriage will see no more in the name of Jesus. God is changing your spouse. God is changing your husband. God is changing your wife. You're going to see change in their lives starting this season. And you'll not even believe whether they are the ones. For the power of God has authority to change and tame a heart of a man. He has given them soft hearts and not stony hearts. So God is twisting them towards loving you again, towards treating you well again. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. There is someone wherever, whenever you do something, it fails. Whenever you try to put up a business, it fails. Whenever you try to get to a job, it fails. There is a spirit of failure that has been lingering around you. That spirit is turning back to live in the name of Jesus. No more shall you fail at what you do. Be freed in the name of Jesus. spirit of delay is turning back to leave you. The spirit of poverty is turning back to leave you. The spirit of stagnation is turning back to leave you. The spirit of retardation is turning back to leave you right now in the name of Jesus. No more will you be stagnant. 
there is a, a thrust that is pushing you forward from backwards in the name of Jesus. For you are the head and not the tail. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I see a spirit of madness leaving someone. A spirit of madness leaving someone. The spirit of madness is turning to release you in the name of Jesus. You will never run mad in the name of Jesus. There are people who are struggling with habits like masturbation. People who are struggling with anger. People who are struggling with lust. God is delivering you right now. Touch them, Holy Spirit. Touch them, Holy Spirit, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. The people who are struggling to pray, struggling to believe, struggling to read the word, your spiritual life was put down. God is revamping your spiritual life in the name of Jesus. He is lighting that candle in you that was blew by the enemy. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. periods receive your healing today in the name of Jesus there is someone that has been having a painful lump in their breast you're being healed right now in the name of Jesus thank you Jesus Arthritis is leaving your body right now. Someone who was diagnosed, diagnosed with arthritis, you are free and free indeed in the name of Jesus. Someone who had applied for a visa and it has been delaying to be accepted, for the end of next week, you're receiving a confirmation for having received that visa in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. There is someone who has been waiting to be promoted, to be put on a particular salary scale. And someone that has been waiting to be put on a payment rota. You've been under probation for some month now. All of you before the end of next week. You're receiving those approvals in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. God is remembering single parents. God is remembering single parents. 
you've been struggling with your children single-handedly, God is opening a door to provision that your family is going to be living in abundance in the name of Jesus. There are single parents who are going back to their husbands, to their wives. There are those who left because of witchcraft, because of bondage, because of hindrances, because of generational curses. You're going back to your marriage in the name of Jesus. And there are those God is giving new partners. He is bringing a man that will love you with your children. He's bringing a woman that will love you with your children in the name of Jesus. There is a man anointed to take care of that family. There is a woman anointed to take care of that family. And when they come into that family, they will make it whole again. There will be no more brokenness. There will be no more pain. In the name of Jesus. There is someone that's been asking you, when are you getting married? And you've been hiding from the crowds because of that. God is answering those people by setting a table before them. They are coming to your wedding this year in the name of Jesus. For God is quickening you into a relationship that is going to be fruitful to marriage in the name of Jesus. There is a man that has been dealing with impotence. You've been failing to perform as a man sexually. In the name of Jesus, I command your manhood to gain its strength right now in the name of Jesus. No more shall you be attacked by that spirit that kills your authority as a man. Receive your deliverance tonight in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. The poor God is pulling out from families of polygamy. Your marriage will not be polygamous in the name of Jesus. Your marriage will not be polygamous. The spirit of polygamy is turning back to live. It has been tormenting your families for so long. It is turning back to live in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You've been asking God to change your husband. Before this month ends, your husband will no more drink in the name of Jesus. God is doing something in his life. This is the season of his deliverance. I want you to, to believe. I want you to hold your faith up. That man is changing in the name of Jesus. There is someone, go, the doctor said your tubes were blocked. Another one, the doctor said your uterus can't hold a baby. There is a lot of heat in your in your utella in your womb you are conceiving this year in the name of jesus infertility is turning back to live your life in the name of jesus someone who has been struggling to conceive god is ashamed your in-laws God is ashamed the naysayers. They shall see you hold a baby in your hands in the name of Jesus. God is taking away your shame. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank 
you, Jesus. Meet them, Holy Spirit, in any way that they need you. Meet them at their point of need, Holy Spirit. Grant them their hard desires in the name of Jesus. Change their lives in the name of Jesus. Let them receive from you tonight. Do not pass anyone. Do not pass anyone in the name of Jesus. May everyone receive an impartation from you tonight. May everyone receive a touch from you tonight. I may not mention everything they are going through, but Holy Spirit, you know it. receiving a visitation in your life right now in the name of Jesus chains are breaking off you chains are breaking off your hands chains are breaking off your feet you're walking into your destiny in the name of Jesus seemed uh, hard in your own eyes is turning out to be possible in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. There is someone when you receive money, passes through your hands and you don't know where your money goes. You work but you don't have anything to show for your money. I release a consuming fire to consume that which makes you lose your money out of the works of your hands in the name of Jesus. From today on I decree and declare that whenever you get money it will profit you in the name of Jesus. You'll see tangible results of what you've worked for this year in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. No more loss in the name of Jesus. Loss is turning back to vacate your life in the name of Jesus. The spirit of death is turning back to vacate your life in the name of Jesus. God is clearing your debts in a surprising way. There are people whose debts are being forgiven in the name of Jesus in this season. There are people God is opening an opportunity for you to have money to clear all your debts in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. There is someone with a court case someone with a court case God is ruling in your favor in the name of Jesus so I want you to be still amidst that trial that you're coming out victorious in the name of Jesus thank you Jesus thank you Jesus someone who has been jobless for 12 years for 12 years 
this Easter season is not leaving you the same in the name of Jesus. You're getting a job in the name of Jesus. There is someone who has never worked ever since they graduated. God is surprising you in this season in the name of Jesus. You've never worked. You had even given up on applying. God is changing your story. This is your season in the name of Jesus. There is a parent, you have a child and that child has a, an umbilical cord that pains them. Your son is receiving healing right now in the name of Jesus. That pain is departing from their umbilical cord in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. someone that has been tithing you've been tithing for so long and you've not been seeing change in your life and you've been asking God why why do I tithe and not see change I want you to look out in this Easter season you are going to be surprised what no eye has seen what no ear has heard what no mind has comprehended are the things God is doing for you in this season. This season is not leaving you the same in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Meet them at their point of need, O oh God. Grant them all their hard desires, O oh Jesus. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. There is someone, you have a problem, you, you can't sleep in the night. It's insomnia, you, you can't sleep in the night, no matter how much you try. God is delivering you in the name of Jesus. Whatever has been limiting you from sleeping, it ceases in the name of Jesus. From today henceforth, you're going to sleep peacefully in the name of Jesus. And there is someone who keeps getting bad dreams. Every time you put your head down, you get a scary dream. I rebuke those dreams in the name of Jesus. I command them never to come back. From today onwards, you dream only good dreams, dreams of victory, dreams of direction, dreams of success, dreams that inspire you, dreams that encourage you in the name of Jesus. There's someone I'm praying for that has rejection. Everywhere you go, people hate you. At your workplace, at church, in every relationship for some reason people just don't like you now that spirit of rejection is lifting off you right now in the name of jesus that
that spirit of rejection is lifting off you right now in the name of Jesus. Receive your freedom tonight in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. There is a man listening in. You're called Robert. You're called Robert. Praying to God for a financial breakthrough. God is answering your prayers in the name of Jesus. You're going to start seeing sources of money coming through. You'll be overwhelmed by the goodness of God in the name of Jesus. There is also a gentleman called Ronnie. Ronnie, Ronnie, Ronnie. God is doing something in your life. Don't give up on praying. Don't give up on praying. Don't give up on believing. You'll be amazed what God is doing in this season in your life. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. There is a woman with a sick mother. Your mother has been sick and you've been crying out to God for her healing. God has healed her in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. people whereby the spirit of death is hovering around you I rebuke the spirit of death in the name of Jesus I cast it out of your life in the name of Jesus it shall not stand in your way again. you will not die prematurely you will not die before your time you will live to testify of the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. There is someone who delays to reach a milestone. Your peers go before you and you're always the last to reach a milestone. That spirit of being the last is breaking in the name of Jesus. God is putting you at the front. You're going to be among those people that make things happen, that people look unto in the name of Jesus. You're no longer the tail, but the head in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Holy Spirit, locate each and every one. In whatever way they need you, may you touch their lives. May they have a visitation from you tonight in the name of Jesus. May you transform their lives overnight in the name of Jesus. There is someone whose life is being transformed overnight. Like overnight, things are going to turn around for your good and you're like, what's happening? Wow, wow, wow. Thank you, Jesus. God is turning things around. Things have been going bad for some time, but God is changing. There is a shift that is giving you a new season of transformation in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. spirit of anger is standing out of your life. The spirit of anger is departing out of your life in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Father, I believe that we will not remain the same. 
and I believe that we are seeing testimonies springing up in this ministry in the name of Jesus. Tears of joy, songs of praise springing up in this ministry in the name of Jesus. I thank you for what you're doing in the lives of men and women. I thank you for the destinies you're changing, for the names you're changing, for the shame that you're wiping away, for the sickness that you're wiping away in the name of Jesus. I thank you for the favor that is pouring onto the lives of men, favor in the name of Jesus. Thank you for your faithfulness. Thank you for your love. We thank you for this session. And Father, we believe in the name of Jesus that none of us is remaining the same after this session. In Jesus' name, amen. There is someone with a poultry farm. There's someone with a poultry farm. You've been making losses in that business. God is changing your business. God is changing your business. You'll, you'll start making profits in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Just take this opportunity to, to lift up those prayer requests unto him. Whatever your prayer request is, just take this moment under this open heaven to make that prayer request rise up in the heavens. Just open your lips and speak unto the Lord in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. As they raise up their voices to pray to you, God, I pray that you'll answer their prayers in the name of Jesus. That the heavens will register their prayer requests and answer them in the name of Jesus. Provide an answer for each and every one of us. Provide a solution for each and every one of us. Provide an open door for each and every one of us in the name of Jesus. Level mountains for each and every one of us in the name of Jesus. Open double gates at each and every one of us in the name of Jesus. May you change stories this season. May you change stories this season from bad to good stories. From bad stories to testimonies in the name of Jesus. believing God for you're receiving in this season in Jesus' name Amen thank you Jesus be blessed have a good night